for this. Boxing fans of the Northeast have waited weeks for this. Set to defend his junior welterweight titles against Akte Urkal. Zab Judah already taking care of business. Let's see if Zoo can do the same. It was set up, perhaps, the fight of the year. It would be huge wherever it is. Judah, Zoo, but it doesn't happen unless Zoo takes out Octa Urkal here tonight at the Mohegan Sun Uncasville Pavilion. Great song. Here's the tale of the tape. Both fighters 31 years old. Urkow will have a one inch height advantage. Zoo weight in a pound heavier. Urkow will have a two and a half inch reach advantage and he'll need all of that. Rules of the bout. 10 point must system is in effect. Three knockdown rule is not in effect. Standing eight count is not in effect. Cannot be saved by the bell. Here's the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Uncas Pavilion here at Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut, for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Main Events, Showtime Championship Boxing, and Budweiser, the undisputed king of beers. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Jimmy Benz Jr., the World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Mario La Traverse, and the Mohegan Tribal Gaming Commission Athletic Unit, Unit Chief Jerry Boyle. Judging at ringside for this bout, from Braintree, Massachusetts, Richard Flaherty. From West Nyack, New York, Julie Letterman. From London, England, Terry O'Connor. And our referee in charge of this bout, working in this, his 84th world title bout, Frank Cappuccino. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA and WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Mohegan Sun, it's showtime! Introducing first the challenger, ladies and gentlemen, on my right, fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing black trunks, joining us all the way from Berlin, Germany. He weighed in at a ready 138 and one half pounds. He is undefeated with 28 wins, no losses, nine wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked number one in the world by the WBC and number four by the WBA. Please welcome the 1996 Olympic silver medalist and tonight's challenger, introducing Okte, Cassius Urkal. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion, ready to fight on my left out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of Serov, Russia. He weighed in at 139 and one half pounds. His record, 26 wins, one loss, one draw, with 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBA and WBC super lightweight champion of the world. Here is the Thunder from Down Under, introducing Kostya Zulu. And once again, a referee in charge, Frank Cappuccino, now to give instructions, 12 rounds of championship boxing schedule. Gentlemen, Good evening, world championship fight. I'm going to protect yourself at all times. Now I'm looking at the, the belt. Anything below here is a low blow. Anything under here is a low blow. I see his both, both his touch gloves. Touch gloves, good luck. Referee Frank Cappuccino, uh as usual, with that uh, serious tone, letting corner, that both son. fighters know he's in charge. And as you'll see, uh, if this bout uh, lasts, and it should, he won't uh, 
take anything from either fighter. Look at his uh, 80 back in the corner. fourth world back title in the fight. So here we go. The wait is over. Costa Zu, Akte, or Kyle. It's scheduled for 12. Let's see what happens. Sweet Lou Dell at the bell. And here we go. Zhu coming out behind that jab. Fires a left. It's all left hands here. Zhu downstairs and upstairs to begin the fight. Kyle blocking those punches. Slips a little bit there. Kyle two, three inches with the reach, but uh, it won't matter much if he's not quicker and doesn't fight a smart fight. For him to have any shot, he's going to have to dictate the pace, fight his fight. That'll be tough to do against a guy like uh, Zhu at uh, stop, 31 stop. years old, won eight straight fights, coming off the loss in May of 97 <laughs> against Vince Phillips. He's been uh, unstoppable since, winning all of those fights, by the way, inside the distance. Zhu working inside there. Raquel coming back, trying to uh, do something with that jab. We'll see what happens. Zhu flickering that his jab out there. Patented little uh, ponytail and the black trunks. From the thunder down under, Costa Zhu. Good right hand there by Urkal. Zhu comes back. Zhu just so solid. Great balance. But it's uh, Urkal firing there and uh, nearly scoring. Eats a jab there, though. Another jab by Zhu. As it continues to uh, work behind that jab and then throws that very dangerous right hook. Again, there it is, right hand, straight right hand, behind the jab, Zhu. Cal throwing back, coming back with his jab, a lunging jab that misses. Both fighters trading jabs, Zhu getting through with more of his. That one lands, though. A lot on the line here as Costa Zhu attempts to... Uh, win his 27th fight and that would set up the unification title fight later this year against Zab Judah who won here moments ago. Whoa. Urkel taking a few shots there off balance, catches a shot to the body, maybe a little bit low. Now it's Zhu firing a combination. Urkel doing a pretty good job covering up. Why a left hand there by Urkel. One round is in the books. The boy is taking time. Nine mistakes, there's an hour on the time. The fight is between his feet. Between his feet. The spit bucket. Between his feet. A little bit of action from earlier in the round. Gets caught there uh, with a left hand, uh, Urkel does, and stumbles a little bit, and then eats a body punch and smartly backs up and covers up. Here it is again. Zhu with a left hand that caught Urkel on the top of the head, and that uh, shook him up momentarily. But no serious damage appeared to be done. Zhu working inside with some short shots there. Cal lands a body punch, no serious effect. Lunging right hand misses, the and uh, then he staggers oh, all back. The way back. All the way back. Not a bad round for Costa Zhu, his round. But we have uh, perhaps a long way to go. It's scheduled for 12. Although in a lot of cases, Zhu uh, works much fewer, many fewer rounds than 12. Only took him seven rounds to win his last fight, February 3rd, when he beat Sharma Mitchell to win the WBA title. Tries to win his ninth straight fight. Yeah. 
Cal with a uh, wild left hand there, tries to go uh, to the body. Zhu did some damage with some uh, short shots uh, inside. Zhu can fight you inside or outside. Couple of good shots there by uh, one by Urkel. Zhu coming back with one. Zhu continuing to uh, use that uh, jab that's been uh, effective throughout his entire career. Loves to work behind that jab. He'll often set up uh, Stop. right Stop. hook, the overhand right. Go, go, don't look at me, don't look at me. Now Pacino sometimes a comedian in that ring. I don't know if you can hear him there, don't look at me. He's not bashful, he likes to talk to the fighter in the ring. And Zhu likes punching fighters which he's done so marvelously throughout his career over the last nine years stop break very quiet here in the uh, Uncas pavilion the crowd waiting for uh, something dramatic to happen and when you have a champion like Costa Zoo in the ring that could happen at any time although he eats a jab there and comes back with a body punch to the uh, left side of the ribs or cow. Or cow doing his best to uh, slip some of those punches, although uh, more getting through now in the second round as uh, Zhu keeps working behind that jab, peppering that jab. But one out of two, one out of three of them getting through. Cal comes back now with a jab, but ah, not no, much no, on no, it. No, 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 no. Warning from Cappuccino. Behind the head, no, no. Good right hand there by Zhu. Another right hand, partially blocked. Cal uh, wisely keeping uh, his hands up. He better do that. Stop. That's round two. Let's see what the uh, trainers have to say. Just take your time in the field, man. Just take your time. Keep on giving this guy a lot of respect. <laughs> Zab Judah already a, a quick change out here at ringside to uh, see if Costa Zoo can do Red Corner. Do his Let's go, part Red Corner. to finalize the Stay in your corner. much Stand anticipated unification title fight schedule for later this year. Here we go, round three. Both fighters in uh, black trunks. Urkel Stop. with the uh, silver go, trim. Go, 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 Will Zoo make the uh, serious mistake looking past this guy? Most don't think so. Good body shot there by uh, Zoo, and then a straight right hand, another straight, I mean, straight left hand as he works that jab through. More getting through now as uh, Urkel having a little more of a problem keeping his hands up. Throws a good combination there, though. All of a sudden gets Zoo's attention. Break! Break! Good body shot by Zoo. He continues to uh, dig that right hand to the body. Give Urkel a little bit of credit. He landed a good combination, probably his best of the fight thus far. Right hand by Zoo. again behind that jab trying to set up that overhand right Zhu can be a slow starter but once he gets going he's one of the best in the game and a terrific finisher 
Break, break. 26 opponents have experienced that, including the legendary Julio Cesar Chavez, pretty much retired by Zoo last summer. Break, break. Come on, come on, come on. We're only in the third, and frankly, your Kyle uh, looks exhausted. Catches a left hand there. Throws a pretty good shot there. Catches Zoo's attention. Stop, stop, break. Both fighters trading jabs. Zoo with a right hand. Cal with a, a little more pep right now, but he uh, catches a shot too. Uppercut, double uppercut there by uh, right, Zoo. Break, break, step back. Zoo doing a nice job uh, cutting off the ring, keeping uh, Cal right at the right distance. Good right hand there by her Cal. Follows it by Zoo, and he follows it up with an uppercut, scoring points at the end of the round. Box gums clever. He just threw a good right hand and started in. And he got the left hand up, followed through with the left hook. Okay, only for Chamba. Johnny Lewis with some uh, tips for Rakasta uh, Zoo. He's the uh, trainer and cut man, by the way. And Kyle getting some advice from uh, Fritz Dunnett. As we head to round four, it's scheduled for 12. Yeah. Junior welterweight championships on the line. Good shot there by Zoo. Urkel looks stunned, but he's coming back with wild punches. Zoo landing a big bomb, maybe the best shot of the fight. Throws another right hand. Urkel smartly covering up, standing center of the ring now, coming back firing. This kid's got a lot of heart. Break, break, let him out. 28, no, 31 years old. Turkish fighter, born in uh, break. Istanbul, lives come in on, Berlin on, right now. He's come a long way to try and pull off what would be a major upset. Peppered pretty good, though, early moments of the fourth round. Zoo, not the uh, fastest fighter in his division, but one of the more, if not the most powerful uh, fighter in his division. Stay off him, Kazoo. Stay, stay off him, Custer. Kazoo leans in and throws that uppercut. Had some pretty good success so far with that uppercut. Cal <laughs> Wild with a flurry of punches ah. there. Good, good, good. Come on, come on, come on. Crowd getting a little bit restless. Kyle staying busy, though. Looked very tired earlier in the last round, and maybe he's gotten a second win. Of course, he's eating a lot of punches now, so we'll see what that takes its toll as Zoo continues right. to throw out that jab, and it lands. Good left hand by Zoo. Break! But you get the feeling it's going to take more than one shot to drop this guy. Akte Urkal. Grew up idolizing Muhammad Ali. His nickname is Cassius. Not Muhammad or not Ali, but Cassius. <laughs> Cal 
Kelly coming up short with a combination of fighter punches and on the break, uh, Zoo punches to a uh, break out. Stop! Break! Fighter's getting a little bit of rest in the center of the ring. <laughs> Zoo now backing up Urkel, lands a body punch, and now Urkel just pulls on. Once again, he looks exhausted. And he should, because he uh, has absorbed quite a few punches in the last few rounds. Zoo in control so far. Do me a favor, tell him not to look at me. Big right hand there, and as we uh, said earlier, that uh, perhaps the best punch of the fight so far from uh, Zoo, and that might have taken its toll earlier in the round. 5,000 strong in the Uncas Pavilion, watching Costa Zoo defend his championships. Fourth defense of the WBC belt, first defense as WBA champ. in the fifth and Zhu comes out firing. Good left hand. Break. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mercal uh, throwing a lot of punches but missing with a lot of punches. Zhu doing a nice job stepping back, slipping a few of those shots, blocking through, but he gets caught with a left hand there. Not, not, come on. And he smiles, and when a fighter smiles, it usually means he got stung a little bit. Now it could get interesting. Good body punch by Zhu. Let's see if he steps it up. And if anything, the left hand that Urkel just landed Stay off his neck, Costa. could be a much-needed confidence builder at this point of the fight. But now it's Zoo quickly back in charge behind the jab, goes to the body. Trying to take that uh, confidence away. Break! Break! Ah, uh -uh, no, no. Cappuccino looking for a keener break from the Berlin fighter. Pretty good combination there by your cop. Come on, come on, come on out of there. Come on out, let him go, let him go. Break. Hold it, hold it. When I say break, break, man. Urkel, the current European and WBC international 140 pound title holder. 28 fights and he's won them all. Only nine knockouts though. He doesn't have nearly the power that Zoo has. Pretty good flurry there, most missing. Break! But it gets the crowd a little bit excited and gets Zoo's attention. Costa loading up there for a uh, the right hand. Trying to work behind the jab. Come on, come on. Just when you think Urkal is exhausted and he's going to coast a little bit, he comes back with uh, some of the best punches of the fight. It's pretty hot also here at ringside. The light's making it even warmer. It's warm uh, outside. No, no, no. Good exchange of leather there. Left hand landed by Urkal. Zoo came back. Stop! A pretty good round, Octe Urkal. At least we have a little bit of a fight. Water. 
on the head. Another look at the uh, at left hand thrown there by Urkal. Actually, uh, Zoom may be uh, off balance and more of a slip. Yeah, clearly a uh, off balance uh, slip more than any clean punch being thrown at first. It Come on, Red though, Corner, Urkal you're late. You're late all the time, Red Corner. Zoom, but uh, that not really the case. Center of the ring now, both fighters. Urkal going with an overhand right that is blocked by Zhu. We're in round six. It's scheduled for 12. Good double left hand by Urkal. Starting to win over some fans here in uh, the Uncas Pavilion. Many really have uh, stop, 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 looking stop. for a reason to root for one of these guys, although Zhu, of course, a much more popular and known fighter. Cal fighting most of the time in Germany. Zab Judah ringside, watching very closely. Besides Zhu, he's got more at stake in this fight than anybody else in the arena. Break! Break! Ah, ah. <laughs> Break. Cappuccino break. Uh, wanting these guys to uh, break cleanly and fighting to uh, break out. And Zoo throwing more of the punches once they get inside. <laughs> Nearly halfway through a scheduled 12-round title fight. Stop. Which could lead to the much-anticipated unification junior welterweight fight between Zab Judah and Costa Zoo later on this year. But that doesn't happen if Raquel pulls off the upset here. While he may be losing this fight, he's not doing all that bad a job. Costa Zou in charge and in control, but not by much. Neither fighter have been dropped in the fight so far. Quick little combination there by Urkal. And it seems like the more Urkal lands some punches, the larger break, the applause. Break. Perhaps gaining fans with each round here. Of course, they love an underdog. And Urkal is clearly the underdog. Zhu, good right hand behind the jab, but Urkal comes right back and comes forward. We're in round six. This was the round that he put away Julio Cesar Chavez last July. Again, as we mentioned, Zhu can be a slow starter. Some good shots there landed by Zhu. Break! Break! Final seconds, round six. It's her call landing a few body punches. Zhu coming back. Stop! Good action the end of round six. We're halfway through. Zab Judah, there's two guys. Costa Zoo's father. And on the left, Vlad Warden, his manager and promoter. Warden perhaps sweating it out a little bit here. I don't think he thought it was uh, going to be quite this difficult. Although probably still very confident that his fighter will get the job done here tonight, as he has done 26 times in the past. But Warden already worked on... Uh, Having the contract in the ready position for the unification fight. But if Raquel keeps that stuff up, we might be here a while. And Zoo tastes a little bit of uh, leather. Now it's Zoo coming out, the busier fighter. Raquel comes back, most of those punches blocked. Lands a few there, though. Zoo in the corner and maybe in a no, little no, bit of no, trouble. No. Cappuccino won't like that uh, late short right. The 
Cal getting through again with that jab. Zhu comes back with his jab. Break. Give Zhu credit, though. Fighting a guy that uh, on way to the uh, potential showdown with Zab Judah, no pushover. Break. Uh, Dangerous. Uh, no, when I say break, fight. stop punching. Dangerous fighter. Risky, risky situation here. Let's see how the champion handles it. Unhappy there with the uh, uh, low blow. Stop, stop, stop. Keep them punches up, man. You're going too low. Break! And once again, they're Cal uh, looking to, uh, looking a little tired, and then all of a sudden, he comes back. Fires some shots. Holding on, looks exhausted, and he fires shots and lands. But Zoo comes back, good left hand there. Cal now. Stop. Backing up Zhu. Ah, Zhu and Zhu lands, throws a almost two-handed slap that the Cappuccino, no, 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 I think, no. is going to talk about. That was bizarre. He's getting a little bit uh, dirty here. Zhu working behind that jab. Throwing it, landing it. That's when he's at his best, trying to set up that straight right or overhand right. Break! Coming up on the end of round seven. And it seems like we uh, getting a little more action oh, in each round as we go. Crowd up. getting I'm a little more into now. the fight. Keep Good shot up, to end round seven by Zhu, who again appears to be in front, but not by much. Tell him to keep that punch mm -hmm. up, man. It's going to be bad for him. Uh -huh. Costa Zhu's a father. Boris in attendance. A little bit nervous as any dad would be. Take that away, buddy. Hang on, hang on. Boss, we're not used to seeing his son going to slow him down. Go okay. into the late round. We've got to make sure he don't get a shot away on us. Be careful pulling out after something. Come on, Cross. Strip it up. Strip it up, Cross. Strip it up, man. Break him up. Johnny Lewis, Zoo's trainer, asking uh, his guy to step it up. Let's see if you can follow instructions here. Comes out with a three or four unanswered jabs and a left hook. And so far, Akal uh, on the defensive in the opening seconds Stay off here. his neck, Costa. Round eight. Octayer Cal making break. his second United States appearance. And so far, a very respectable showing. Misses Wiley there. Lunges in, throws a right, and misses again, but connects with a jab, misses again. Zoom no, 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 no. Step master back, step at back, step slipping back. punches. Doesn't have the hand speed of a Zab Judah. Certainly has his power, though. Judah, uh, yeah, southpaw. Break! Break! Zoo, the traditional right-handed fighter, and uh, when they get together, and if they get together, should be a terrific fight. Terrific uh, combination break, there stop, by stop, both stop, fighters. Stop, stop, Center of the ring. 
And it's Zhu following up now. And Urkel could be hurt a little bit. Oh, Zhu's hard. going to town on the body hold with it, those it, short it, shots it, to the it, ribs. Hold, hold Cappuccino warning about holding back of the head. Second time that's happened tonight. Cappuccino typically uh, on top of things. Doesn't let the fighters get away with much. Ah, no, 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 no. Cal looks a little bit shaken. Hurt may be uh, a little bit of an overstatement, but a little bit shaken here. Break. Once again, Gotta exhausted, keep them hands breathing loose, heavily, man. sweating profusely. Left hand by Zhu there. Certainly, Urkal has proven he can take a punch. All cost to Zhu here in the eighth round. Break! Break! Step back! Step back! Good body shot by Z. You can hear that way back. Cal backing up, trying Stop. to stay out of trouble. And terrific round by Costa Zoo. Eight in the books. Once again, it's scheduled for 12. Let's see what the trainers have to say. All right, mate. Come on. This guy's going to have one more go to this round, so we've got to be careful. You've got to meet him, make him miss, and make him pay. Okay, Koss? Simple as that, mate. We'll step right on him this time, mate. Okay? Nice one, mate. The talents of Costa Zoo on display in this last round. Take a look at the work, the combinations. Left, the right hand, then goes downstairs to the body. Urkel lowers his punches, and lowers his hands. Costa Zoo follows up with punches that score points for the champion. Zhu uh, possessing great power, pretty good speed, quick Got to get out in time, stay in your corner. All the way back, stay there, will you? And since losing to uh, Vince Phillips, he's won eight in a row, looking to make it nine here. He charges out of the ring, throws that uh, right hand, doubles up on the right, connects here. Very aggressive Costa Zoo at the start of round nine. Throwing that jab out there. Cal's got a, done a good job keeping his hands up through most of that this fight so far, but you can see they are uh, a little bit lower than they were earlier in the fight. And that's not a good idea when you're in the ring with a champion with power like Costa Zoo. More of those jabs getting through now. Body punch lands. Break. And the cow comes back. Left hand. 31 years old. 28 no. You can tell her cow has some experience. He hasn't come all this way to lose. But he may simply be overmatched by a more talented and stronger champion in Costa Zoo. We're in the ninth, it's scheduled Break. for 12. WBC, WBA, super lightweight championships on the line. Stop, 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 stop. We won't see Zoo do anything uh, reckless. He'll stick with his game plan, keep throwing that jab and then try to land the overhand right. Does a nice job stepping back, slipping punches there. And then charge forward. Urkal doing a good job, good head movement. Break! And that's important, especially as his gloves and hands lower a little bit. Probably from fatigue, maybe those body punches are starting to take their toll because he's eating that jab now more and more. Hands go up there. Throws a left hand, misses. Zhu comes back now with that jab. Mixes in a right hand. 
Kyle lunging forward. Not much mustard behind those punches, though. Great record by your Kyle, 28 no, but he's only got nine knockouts. And Zhu knows that. Good right hand there by Zhu. Break! Zhu clearly the aggressor here in round nine. It's been that way for a while. Stop! Raquel had some moments in the uh, fourth, fifth round. But uh, once again, another impressive round from Costa Zhu. Boris Zhu on the left, the father of Costa Zhu. Zab Judah, the IBF champion, who won in dramatic fashion with a third round stoppage, oh, about a half hour ago here at the Mohegan Sun. Nobody's ever done this much. No one's done this before, not Well, like all idiot. you have to do is back off. Okay. Hey, we're in a fight here, Phil. Two rounds. Keep that under check. Cross, we tried it for Cross. Don't let him get another shot away on us, okay? Keep smart. Come on, mate. Here we go, round 10. Again, Costa Zoo, like in round 9, comes out firing. Urkel catching more and more as the fight progresses. Those are wild left hand there a couple more wild hooks that uh, zoo easily backs off break break come on come on come on come on let him go zoo with a uh, now very uh, consistent and workmanlike performance as he piles up the points and uh, Couple of left hands there Stop. and right hand now, or Kyle uh, just holding on. Doesn't appear Break. to have that much left, but the very game. Come on, come on, you gotta stop holding. Two holding. Break. Zoo should be uh, comfortably ahead on points, but uh, he knows he's in a fight. Good shot there that uh, sends Urkal backpedaling. Costa Zhu in charge here at right. the Uncas Pavilion, Mohegan Sun. Fourth defense of his WBC title. First defense of the WBA championship, which he lifted from Sharma Mitchell ah, okay. back in February with a seventh round stoppage. Cal with a little uh, bounce in his step, but uh, Zhu, the aggressor, continuing to back up the challenger from Berlin. Zhu trying to cut off the ropes now, right to the body. Break! <laughs> Wild punches there, uh, not much behind them by Urkel, lands a right hand, Zhu backs off, slips that one. Zhu counters with a uh, jab and moves in again, trying to set up that uh, overhand right. Cal still doing a pretty good job, though, with the uh, head movement and lateral movement to try to stay out of harm's way. Probably a good idea, again, with those gloves uh, seeming to uh, lower more and more each round. Just six minutes left. Costa Zoo in charge here. Yeah, you got that right. At the Mohegan Sun.
close to a packed house in what is a uh, very cozy and comfortable place to watch professional boxing here in the United States. Actually, it's just a very large tent, but you kind of forget that. It'll come down soon because uh, they're building a new 10,000-seat arena across the parking lot here on the grounds at the magnificent Mohegan Sun. So this pavilion on borrowed time. Is Octay Urkal on borrowed time? We'll see. He'll need to do something dramatic in the final six minutes, barring a uh, very strange scoring. Kostazu, of course, would uh, like nothing better than to finish him off, but uh, I don't know. This kid from Germany, very, very tough competitor. Of course, a win is a win, but Zhu also knowing and uh, spotting Judah sitting at ringside would like to send a message to him as well. Although Urkal has proven to be a uh, tougher competitor and challenger than that Judah's challenger earlier tonight, Alan Vester. Vester uh, lasting uh, three rounds. Good exchange there by both fighters. Zhu getting the best of it, though. Crowd getting a little bit of excited, maybe sensing that uh, Zhu can uh, put him away here in the 11th. I'm not so sure of that. Now Kyle's taking some punishment, but great. great heart. Exhausted, but still moving, still throwing, and still catching, too. Stop! Stop! Zhu, knowing that he's in front, not about to do anything uh, careless or uh, foolish just for the knockout, although he lands with a good left hand right there, and Rakal says, come on, bring it on. Not so sure if that's what he wants to do against the uh, thunder from down under. Very appropriate nickname Stop. for the junior welterweight champion. 22 of those 26 wins coming by way of knockout. Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You've got you to stop holding, man. Now we're Kyle, uh, back into the corner. That's not where he wants to be. Comes out, comes out firing with the left. Zoo right. back with the jab. And now we have more holding. by Zhu, follows it up with another left, or Cal comes forward. And again, Zhu patient, not doing anything foolhardy. Final seconds, round 11, and he gets a nice applause from the 4,800 here in attendance in the pavilion. No, I might. This last round of your life, mate, okay? Yep. Everything in the last round, no silly mistakes, okay? Yep. Real good stuff. Real Tell good him it's the last round. Another look at uh, one of the many powerful and potentially devastating right hands from Costa Zoo. Can't say your cow can't take a punch, though. Right there. Zoo's landed uh, more than a few of those tonight. Stay back. Zoo with a small abrasion on his nose. Raquel, uh, plenty of swelling around both eyes. Let's see what happens in round 12. Break! Ah, uh, no, no! Zoo catches a right hand. Another good right hand. Stop, stop. But again, 
not enough on it. Oh, with a good right hand there. And now Zhu appears a little bit stunned. Rakal is amazing. Break. Zhu uh, about two minutes away from successfully defending Break. his championship no, 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 and no, setting no. up that fight against Zab Judah. But hold on. Rakal landing uh, perhaps the best punch of the fight so far. But he'll have to do more than that to stop Pasta Zhu. Break. Let's see if Zhu, if Zhu can finish like a champion. We've seen it before. Although Zhu not used to being in the late rounds. Usually takes out Break. his opponents earlier than round 12. It's a minute and a half to go. No, 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 no. With no. great heart here. Has a pretty good stop, right hand. Stop. Costa Zhu found out moments ago. And somehow this kid is still on his toes, still throwing punches. Look at this, coming on strong. So far having the best Break. round of the fight. His best round of the fight anyway. Zhu center of the ring. A little bit surprised, I think, of what he's seeing here. Probably wondering, where is this stop, guy getting stop. it from? Zhu perhaps thinking he could just coast home. <laughs> and he's taking some punishment here in the 12th. Catches another left hand, just smiles. Both fighters tired now. Good combination by your cow. And Zhu simply not punching. Looks that jab out there. I think he's just kind of stunned that Urkal has anything left and that he's getting popped with some of these punches. Although Zhu comes back now. Final 10 seconds. Good left hand by Urkal. Zhu on his bicycle. And that'll do it. Terrific final round performance by Octay Urkal. If he had done it earlier, we might have had a stunning upset. Although we have to go to the scorecards, this is boxing, you never know. But it appears as though Costa Zhu has successfully defended his championships in control for most of this fight. But a Rakal uh, up on the ropes uh, certainly has nothing to be ashamed of celebrating uh, with his fans. Wonderful showing the final three minutes. And as we said, it appears as though uh, Zhu has uh, won this fight and won it comfortably despite the last few minutes from Octe Urkal and some of those... Uh, Terrific uh, right hands and flurries. Perhaps uh, Zhu was thinking about Zab Judah three minutes early. But he should get the decision. As we await the uh, judges' scorecard, let's take a little bit uh, look at the beginning of the round. He gets uh, Popped with a left hand, but again, mostly out of balance there. Those were not Urkal's best shots of the fight. And here's Zhu coming back, rallying a little bit. Good straight hand, good jab there. And uh, Cal says, yeah, you got me. Smartly covers up. Might have been more interesting if Urkal had more uh, punching power. Again, this is a guy with uh, just nine knockouts, 28 wins, undefeated, but just nine knockouts. So as Rich Flaherty, Julie Letterman, and Terry O'Connor add up the scorecards, we, along with everyone else, will wait for the decision. Here's Jimmy. 
with those scores. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Julie Letterman scores about 115 to 113. Judge Terry O'Connor scores about 116 to 113. And Richard Flair sees about 116 to 112. All three in favor of the winner. And still champion, Kostya Zoo. So there you go, Costa Zhu, as we expected, retains those championships. And a little bit surprising that the most of the fans here are booing the decision. I mean, it clearly looked by a most ringside observers that uh, Zhu certainly won this fight, did enough to win it, although Kyle finishing strongly in the 12th would have been a uh, very exciting fight. And if Kyle came up with that performance a little bit earlier. 116, 112, 115, 113, 116, 113. The decision, a unanimous decision, goes to Costa Zhu. And now everything is in place for Zhu and Zab Judah to get together in the fall. Come on, guys. It's probably what a different fight. Well, I guess we all were watching a different fight, but uh, uh, you're telling us at no point in this fight were you hurt. No, no. Uh, he was a good fighter, very tough. We expect this and uh, I prepare for this. And look, at 12 rounds, I'm easy. You expected this? Oh, I did expect it. I never, this guy never been stopped. He never been knocked down. Uh, you were not frustrated? Huh? Were you frustrated? Me? Yes. No, I mean, when you fight against a good guy and win him, I thought the judging was a little different. I mean, it was... Uh, the fight was close. But uh, now it's only close. It's so close. The crowd is chanting the words uh, that we can't repeat on the air. So apparently all of us saw a different fight, but you're saying that you weren't hurt and that you weren't frustrated and that you were prepared for this. So you weren't looking forward at all to, to Zab. I'm look, now I'm looking forward to, to fight Zab, of course. Before this fight, were you looking forward yeah. to Zab? Uh, of course. I mean, so the, I knew it, it's like a semifinal. It was semifinal, now the final final arrived, and now we will fight. Uh, we need to talk with the promoters and... Uh, well, it, it appears that that's all set, but uh, uh, we now have Zab Judah, who is stepping in here. Zab, uh, uh, we talked to you throughout the fight. You clearly uh, were amazed at the ease that Costa was hit with. How does that now set up for you on November 3rd uh, to fight him here? Well, I mean, um, I want to say congratulations, first of all. And uh, I'm glad that we finally made this fight. And, um, you know, I'm just looking, I'm, I'm just looking forward to having, to, to having a good fight um, whenever November and it'll be right here it, do you do you fear Zab Judah's speed having seen what he can do and and having seen what happened here this evening I mean if you ask Zab do, does he go to fear he'll say no if, if, do you, I'm not uh, asking did, Zab did I'm you, asking you don't be rude to me please I'm not I'm not but I mean um, if you, let me answer uh, any boxer any boxer will never fear anybody and when you step in the ring with the two fathers with two warriors and uh, Bobby Chez made an interesting comment tonight. You're 31 years of age, and he said sometimes fighters can get old in a fight. Yep. Do you feel old tonight? Uh, no, I wasn't really old tonight. 12 rounds. I mean, I never fought 12 rounds since 95. Uh, I mean, uh, it's really good for me to have these rounds, uh, have experience to fight these 12 rounds against a very tough guy. I mean, Urkel has never been down, and with very good chin. And uh, Are you happy that you decided to postpone the fight? And to take another fight, you felt you were being rushed into this. You're not postponed the fight. You see, fight, it's happening. Now, the two champions, be, it, now we're going to see each other in the ring. This is going to be a tremendous fight. And now you're exciting. And uh, now you can see, now you want this fight even more. Absolutely, you're exactly right. Final thoughts from you, Zap? Well, I mean, you know, I just can't wait till November. And um, hopefully I'm going to do my best and I'm going to work very hard and I'm... After that, I'll be the, un uh, the, un the undisputed champion, the undisputed champion of the world. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of happy right now because, um, you know, I just felt very confident about this fight and and, and real good. Not depending on um, um, Zoo's performance tonight because, um, you know, he did, he did what he had to do to win. And um, about him being scared of me, I wouldn't want no fighter to come in the fight scared of me because that'll make the fight, you know, real, real whack. You know, if people be booing and stuff. If, if, if you got two conditioned great athletes, that's gonna make a hell of a fight. And Kazu's a warrior, you know what I mean? And Zab Judah's a warrior, so you got a thunderbolt going on. Zab? 
Costa, congratulations. We look forward. Here are all the belts. And they'll battle for them all. Well, the next time we see those two champions, I doubt they'll be smiling and hugging. The table is set. November 3rd is the date. The junior welterweight championship to be on the line. Both fighters taking care of business tonight. Zab Judah in a more dramatic fashion with his third round stoppage of Alan Vester. Costa Zoo gets it done as well. He needs 12 rounds to do it. And now both fighters come into the November showdown. Off wins here at the Mohegan Sun. The fight's supposed to take place right back here at the Mohegan Sun in their spanking new arena. Could be the debut fight for that arena. Costa Zoo with the unanimous decision over Octay or Cal. Zab Judah with his win to make for a terrific night of boxing here at the Mohegan Sun. I'm Joe Rocco. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. The other winners tonight, Francisco Panchito Bojato, Vince Phillips wins. No major upsets to speak of as the favorites take care of business at the Uncas Pavilion. Good night, everybody.